Previously, I found gold in Home Depot sand, starting from one bag to a yard, and now an entire dump truck full to see how much gold we can find. It's too much. <laughs> I can't believe we are doing this again. We're on our way to meet Mr. Dump Truck so we can go to the location where all Home Depot suppliers source their sand. It took some digging, but we found it. It turns out that the company Target is the one that sources the sand and makes those bags for Quickrete that then supplies the bags we've been buying. So now that we have a location, it's just a matter of getting there. Oh my God, I can't believe we're doing this. Ugh. You ready? Yeah, it's in the road, bro. Now, the first step to getting to the location is taking the hour and a half boat ride to the other side. All right, while well, Paul's off in Vancouver getting more sand, I took the time to load this trauma because we have to take it to a different location to wash. I volunteered our friend Luke to help us run all the sand because not only is this far too much sand to leave in Andy's driveway like last time, but just the amount of water required to run all the sand is far more than what Andy's neighborhood could provide. We're gonna unload the trauma out of the back of the truck. Hopefully it's centered on there and then uh, yeah, we can set this thing up and get her going. Okay, so we got the trauma in place here. We're short on water in this area, so we want to try to recirculate as much as we possibly can. And I went out and I got this pool. I've been slowly filling that over the last few days. So I'm hoping that we can pull the water from the pool into the trauma here. I'm not too sure how much sand Paul is actually bringing, but hopefully this is gonna be enough. All right, that's it. We're just waiting for Paul to arrive now. So while I wait in this dump truck here, I'm just trying to form a plan. As far as I know, all the sand is already separated. They just mix up the sand and then they put them in bags. But I wanna see if they have river sand and if we can just load the truck with just that because that's most likely to hold the most amount of gold. Now there could be gold in the other sand as well, but I wanna increase our chances to find the most gold possible. So I guess we'll just have to find out. here, Home Depot's mother load. So what we're doing right now is we're just weighing the truck before the sand goes in. So once the sand goes in, we weigh it again and then we're charged based on the weight difference. So I have some good news and bad news. The good news is yes, they have this river sand and yes, we're gonna be loading this big truck here full of that river sand. And the best part of that is the sand that they actually pick up from is from the Fraser River, which is famously known for its gold. Plus it's not that far away, so it makes sense. Now the bad news. They are uncomfortable with me filming with my phone in there. So the most important shot of this whole video, which is getting the sand to dump into the back of the truck here, has to be shot from far away or my GoPro. sand do you think that is? Why, it looks like a little bit more than just a truckload. <laughs> <laughs> I should have told them how much sand I got. Dude, like that is an insane amount of sand. What are wow. we gonna do with all that? Where, where is it going after this? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm already starting to regret the decisions I've made. Okay, now all of this has to go into this. Look at the size difference. <laughs> I really, really hope this works out. That's a lot more sand than I thought we would get originally. So I'm hoping there's at least one gram of gold in that pile of sand. For sure. Maybe even a couple ounces. Yeah, that'd be nice. That is too much. It's too much. <laughs> it's actually too much. Okay, because I arrived here a little later than I thought I would due to a festival going on and I missed four ferries, it's already starting to get dark. So what we're gonna do is pack up and start fresh tomorrow morning to run all this sand. Luckily for you, tomorrow means right now.
So something I really didn't consider is just how much work this is gonna be. In my last sand video, we ran one yard of material, so 64 bags of that Quickrete play sand, and it took us all day to run it, and we even did two cleanups for that day. This, we'll be shoveling for a few days, maybe even a week. Now, before we begin, everything needs to be set up from connecting pipes, leveling the trauma with wood, and checking Instagram. But an hour later, we were all set up and ready. So how you feeling? <laughs> I'm stoked to do this, man. This is gonna be 10 times more gold than we found last time, right? Oh, there better be. 10 or 12 times more, so just a daunting amount of work though to look at it. So the idea is you grab some of the sand and you put it in this hopper. And then once it goes through here, it gets washed and it drops down into the sluice box to collect gold, garnets, and anything heavy that may be in the sand. Maybe twice throughout the day, we will clean out that sluice box and put it into the tote where the concentrates will collect. And over the next several days or weeks when we do all of the sand, finally run it in Andy's cleanup sluice to eventually reveal the gold in a gold pan. And to avoid shoveling all the tailings like what we did last time, we're going to use this loader to push everything out of the way to save our backs. Now without further ado, let's begin. So this may take a while. I'm going to need as much help as possible if I plan on getting through this in a decent amount of time. The never-ending pile of sand. How much gold do you think is going to be in this pile? I'm hoping for two full grams. Two full grams. So last time, I believe we had like 0.2 of a gram or so. So if it's anything like that, we should get around two grams. But there is an actual possibility there won't be any gold in here. I sure hope there is. So what I'm doing here is I'm just shoveling the sand out of the water to a high area where it can drain out. And then we got a pump over here, picking up all of our wasted water, putting it back to the trommel, and we're scooping the dry sand off and throwing it to the side. It is a full-time gig. So because we're running more water than we did last time, we're able to run sand a lot quicker. So we're getting through it a lot faster than I thought we would. Andy and I decided that we're not gonna do a cleanup till the very end of the day, rather than doing a whole bunch of cleanups throughout the day. So I think that's a good plan. At the end of every day we're here, we'll do one cleanup. Something I seem to forget is just how much fun it is to work with Andy. And how sneaky Malcolm is with his camera. But fast forward most of the day, we were ready for our first cleanup. Okay, so we are done for the day. We got a lot more than I thought we would get done done today. As you can see, the pile is significantly less big. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but there is a bit of a dent there. This used to go up and around and now it's clear. So I'm thinking, how many yards do you think we ran already? I think we must have done like four or five. Yeah, maybe two, two to four yards. I don't know. But either way, we are all pretty exhausted. That was a lot of I was gonna say shoveling, but bucketing, and uh, obviously shoveling the tailings out of the way. So looking at this pile of sand, it's not gonna look like we moved a significant amount because this sand is wet and it compresses, and that sand is dry, and it's gonna look like a lot more. But still, that is quite a lot of sand we moved. So now that we are all done working for the day, it's time for the fun part, or the part where we see if there is gold in here. There should be, but there's no guarantees, like always. I don't see anything, let's quit. Moment of tooth. Oh, heck yeah. Nice. Couple good chunks there. Malcolm's gonna come have a look. Oh man. One, two, three, four, five. Go Very down. nice. This one's pretty coarse. Yeah. Some, some's so, somewhere. I'm actually really pleased with that. Even if we found one speck, it's uh way better than the disappointment I'd be facing if there was nothing in all that work. Realistically, the amount that we moved today should be more than what we did all of the last video, which was one yard. So what Andy is doing right now is just cleaning out this mat here where the majority of the gold should be hiding in. But now that all the cons are in this bin now, the next time you'll see that gold is gonna be at Andy's house when we use his cleanup sluice at the end of this video, which should be in a couple days or so from now. I'm really hoping there's gonna be at least two grams in here. It's okay if not, but we're looking for two grams. Woo. 
Boom! Yeah. Perfect. Day Ready done. Okay, day one complete. That just means hopefully one more day, two more, maybe three days. I have no idea. But we're almost there. It doesn't look like much, but we are almost there. We're gonna find hopefully 10 ounces of gold. I doubt it. Maybe, hopefully two grams. So Andy may or may not be able to make it in today, which means I'll be doing this by myself as Luke is also working. No big deal, we can make it work. When I scoop sand into the trommel, I will just have to rush over here and make sure the tailings don't pile up. And I gotta make sure this filter stays out of the sand. So that's why we built some rocks here, make sure it stays sand free. And as long as there's no leaks in the pipes or anything lights on fire or anybody gets hurt, we might be able to make a little bit of a dent in that pile. But it's important that we get a lot done today that I get a lot done today so that tomorrow we can hopefully get it all out of here and be done. When putting fuel in anything, it's important that the lid stays dirt free as just one grain of sand can destroy. So I just pre-filled a whole bunch of buckets to try to make it easier for me to pour in here, but I don't know if it's gonna be easier. Or I just made it harder for myself. I ran sand for as long as I could, which took a lot out of me. So I had a break, then continued to run more sand. just showed up to save the day. I was actually surprised he came back another day. So I guess you're stuck helping me for a bit now, hey? Yeah, I guess so. No <laughs> camera for now. Yeah. You guys are gonna have to just put up with my crappy phone camera in the meantime. So we really didn't want to film at all because we knew the more we ran a camera, the less sand and blueberries would go through the wash plant. So we just ran sand for most of the day till we had enough. Okay. We are calling it. I didn't do much filming today because I really just wanted to do as much running as possible because we only have one more day to do this. But I think we're doing good. Now I know every time I point at the sand, I always point out how much of a difference we've made, but uh, I think we've made a little bit of a difference today. Especially when you come over here and you look at the tailings pile compared to what it looked like when we started. Now I don't wanna waste too much time talking, so let's hurry up and clean this sucker out and hopefully see some gold before we actually put it into the bin. Because again, we're not really gonna know how much gold we found until the end of this video, then hopefully reveal 10,000 ounces. So right off the top, we do have a lot of black sand, which is an indication that it is actually catching the heavy stuff. I actually see some garnets in there too, another good sign. But I don't see any gold, and I don't imagine we will see gold right away because I don't think that pile is gonna hold any nuggets. But we'll just have a quick little peek and see if we see any yellow. So most of the gold is gonna be sitting in this miner's moss right here. Now we do occasionally start seeing the gold when we bring the hose over the metal here, so. Oh, right there, you see that? We have gold. I know there's gold in this pile of sand, but uh, I often get nervous because I'm like, what if there is none? Those are nice little bits. And again, a ton of black sand. Once the sluice was rinsed and the mat was clean, we were done. All right, let's see if we can finish this on day three. We are not messing around today. We all want this done. No breaks, no blueberries, just sand. Okay, now the pile of sand is starting to look smaller. You can see the pile further away from the wash plant from all the sand that's laid out on the grass. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, why don't you put the sand on a tarp? Well, in my defense, I didn't think of that. I'm pretty sure that Luke has a shot vac that we can use to dredge the grass if it comes down to it, which it probably will. Andy will be here soon and then, uh, yeah, we'll really start to go. And just like yesterday, I limited my camera use so I can be a part of the team. Luke was under no obligation to help, but he has probably outworked all of us combined. This is the coolest thing anyone has ever discovered, ever. The self-feeding Home Depot bucket excrabanza. It works, but it's slow. Our tailings pile is starting to look really big. It almost looks bigger than what we had originally. So I'm gonna shut up and just get to work. The 
couple hours had passed, and nothing changed other than now the sand was down to the grass. So we vacuumed, raked, and got as much as we could so we could finally say we were done. Oh yeah. Done. <laughs> Can't believe it. We are finally done. That took actually not as long as I thought it would take, but it was way more work than I expected. I am so glad it's over. That is a lot of work lifting those buckets. Like 64 buckets was crazy, but uh, 654 buckets was <laughs> nuts. So you guys are gonna be wondering why I left a little bit of sand here. We just can't get it. We worked for hours trying to get it all out, but this we're just gonna donate to Luke's house so he can deal with it now. So the pile that used to be there is now over here. We still don't know what we're gonna do with this yet and uh, hopefully it's not my problem. So the only thing left to do now is clean up this trommel, put the cons into the bin, go to Andy's house and do a final cleanup to hopefully reveal more gold than we found last time. It'll be very embarrassing if there's less gold than we found last time. Okay, right off the top, I don't see anything. Again, just like last time, uh, the gold is gonna be relatively small, so it's probably gonna be inside of these little mat holes, if you will. Great little cluster of garnets. Yeah, it's an earring. But is there gold in here? Definitely, probably. How are you so good with hoses? He's actually a firefighter, so that's the joke. He takes fires in the nuts. Okay, so now Fire. put it on like a nice low piddle. Like just <laughs> a piddle. Oh my God, look at that. There's sand. Oh, right there. Oh, no, that, that's a rock. Never mind. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We've got gold, baby. Look at that big sucker. Big flake right there. What the oh. heck? Ah, oh, there she is. I'm way less worried than I was last time because I didn't know you're supposed to shake the mat first to reveal the gold. This whole time I was thinking that we weren't finding as much as I thought we would find. I think what's making a big difference here is the fact that we got a silo of river sand opposed to mixing it like we normally would. And being that the sand is coming from the Fraser River, it makes sense why there would be gold there. It's famously known for having gold. <laughs> get that with the big sand. That is actually looking really, really good. High five. Uh. Yeah. Uh. I was gonna smack the camera. I think based on the amount of sand we saw while just washing that out, that was at least a gram. And we have two or three other whole cleanouts that we did. I'm thinking we're gonna hit two grams. That's yeah. just where I'm gonna leave it. Any more, it would be amazing. Any less, still amazing. But two grams is gonna be my prediction. Okay, finally, we get to clean out the gold. You can see the pile of sand that we left here from the last video we shot. I'm really excited to see how much gold we found in all that sand. And for this special occasion, I'm wearing a different shirt. So here are all the concentrates. You can already see that black sand and gold sticking out. So this is gonna be good. Just transferring these concentrates from the big tub into these Home Depot buckets. Scooping cons takes a steady hand, so I let Andy take over to speed things up. Oh yeah. It's kind of hard to see with the sun reflection there, but there's definitely nice pieces of black sand in there. It's crazy to think that 23,000 and a half, so roughly 24,000 pounds of sand, went down to these two buckets, which weighs maybe 10 pounds. 2,000 spoonfuls later, in the last drop of our concentrates, we were really starting to see some gold. I'm starting to think all this work is gonna pay off. That <laughs> is insane. It's so wild that we can go to Home Depot and find that. What do you say we start a business? We should go to Home Depot, sift all their sand, get all the gold out, and then return it. <sighs> Gosh, that looks amazing. Oh, man. Wow. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Those pockets are full. All that work came down to this one mat right here. We should have just got this instead. Like why did we have to waste all that time getting all that sand? Next time I'm just gonna ask for the concentrates. So all that sand, all that time, all that hard work, resources, and energy came down to this one pan right here. What would you do if I just threw the pan over there? I'd just dive right off this ledge head first. <laughs> You can see all the gold sticking out of the black sand right now. Little bits anyway. So I'm making sure I go slow because obviously losing any gold at this point would be not ideal. Okay, we are there. I can see a lot of pyrite. Oh. <laughs> Look at that smile. Unreal. Oh my goodness. 
Wow, I'm actually kind of speechless. It, that is an astonishing amount of gold. Home Depot sand. Mind you, I did get it from the river, technically. Yeah, the fact that they're just selling it off and there's that much like physical resource still in it. What I find kind of cool too is that if I didn't get this sand, this gold would have been spread out all over Vancouver Island potentially because it's the same sand that would have ended up in those bags. That's right, in concrete, in pathways, just gardens. <laughs> pathways. Look at that. This is a really satisfying part. Cool. Didn't, didn't really work, but oh, the lid's not even on right. So we finally just cleaned up all the gold, and now it's looking really good. <laughs> Look at all that Home Depot treasure. It looks so good in the green pan. Andy, it certainly makes me wonder how much gold is sitting in people's yards. It's a lot of micro gold, but also like, that's a real deal picker out of Home Depot sand. Under the microscope, beautiful red garnet gemstones, and we found like a million of these. We got pyrite, lead, a blueberry, and of course, the reason we're here, stunning flakes of gold. Looks amazing up close like this. And out of all that material we ran, we found one little piece of platinum. So now we're gonna dry up the gold, weigh it all, and then we actually get to put numbers down to see how much we made, which is actually gonna be Pretty funny. <laughs> now before we weigh the gold, the breakdown. How much did everything cost before weighing what we have? Food, $150.38. Extra piping and hoses, $216.83. Now the ferry cost, $685.10. And that's mainly because I missed both reservations. I know, I know. The sand, $841.32. Now our biggest expense was the dump truck at $1,911 that's after he cut me a deal because we waited at the ferry for like five hours. That leaves us with a total of $3,804.63. So now that you guys know that, let's weigh this and see if we made our money back. <laughs> Moment of truth. I'm hoping for just two grams at least. Yeah, I'm gonna be true to my word here and guess this is two grams. $420,000. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, half a gram. Gosh, this is. Oh, over a gram. I wasn't looking. Okay, almost two grams. That shot up quick there. <laughs> oh, my God. Will we make it? Oh, oh, the mark. Oh, 2.316, so just about two and a half grams. So that is amazing. That's almost $250-ish. So we, we didn't make the, the money back, but it was kind of expected. This was fun. <laughs> so I'm like 100% sure that nobody has ever got more than a gram out of Home Depot sand before. So for us to get almost two and a half grams, I think that is absolutely astonishing. And that's, I'm happy with that. I just want to say a quick shout out to Luke for basically making this whole thing happen. If it wasn't for his help, I don't even know if this video would be done. And he was under no obligation to help us whatsoever. And he did most of the work. So what we're going to do is we're going to give him this gold and let's see what he thinks. Sorry for the short notice. <laughs> oh, sh that's for no you. No way. For me? Yeah. You did most of the work. Yeah, completely. I was gonna say, keep it totally candid. No. How much you actually got. That's no. incredible. Yeah. How much is it? It's two, just over two grams. Really? Yeah. That's so awesome. Way to go, man. <laughs> I appreciate all your help. <laughs> cool. 